Welcome to Physical Sciences 153 and our introductory week. This particular video is about working with the PDF worksheets. Now this is not a general video on PDFs for the general public. Instead, it's very specific to the students in my class to make sure they know what they need to do to be able to have their work graded. Now I've got kind of a list here of the steps and I'm going to go over those, but then I'm going to show you why you need to follow them in this order. So the first thing is you need to download the worksheet from the website, from Blackboard. Then open it in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Then fill it in. Then save it. Then upload it. Now I'm going to go through these steps now in an actual um, desktop here so you can see what's happening and why we have to follow these steps. So if I open up a browser, and I'm already in Blackboard in student mode and you might have an assignment like this and here's your introductory worksheet. Now you can click here and it will open up a worksheet right here in the browser. You say wonderful I didn't have to download it I can start actually filling it in and you start filling in your name and then you come down and it says something about downloading the document. Oh I haven't done that. So you're going to come up here and you're going to download. Now I'm going to save it to the desktop just so it's easy to find. Now what happens is, is that this form you're filling in is not the same as what you've got over here. If I were to click on this to open this up, you'll notice that it doesn't have my name in there anymore. See when you fill in a PDF form in the browser, it doesn't save the information you're filling in. And when you download, it only downloads the original document, not the information you filled in. So even if you've downloaded it, don't open it back up in the browser. You need to open it up from the desktop. So I'm going to close both of these out right now, minimize my browser, and oh, here's my form. Now if you double click on it, it should open up in some sort of PDF reader. Now I've got the Pro version, so it opened up in that, and that's fine. You can use that if you've got the Pro version, but most of the students won't. So I'm actually going to come over here and specifically open it with Adobe Acrobat Reader so that my students can see what it'll probably look like for them. So now again, we have the blank document, but if you fill in your name and then you start going to the next thing on here you go through and you download the document you have a save option here within the Adobe Reader and when I click on that it's gonna allow me to save it now if you save it to the original file it'll ask you if you really want to do that and use the same file name and that is fine, but I prefer to put my actual username on there so that when you upload it to me, it's definitely your file. So now that I've done that, down here it says I should have successfully saved, closed, and been able to reopen and fill in the document. So I'm going to close the document. I'm going to reopen the one that's got my name on it now. And notice it's finally got my stuff saved in there. So this means as you're working through the lab, you can actually stop, save your work, come back in a different day if you can't complete the entire thing at once. Even if you did it all at once, you're going to be able to save it so that you can actually send it to me for grading. So now that we've been able to do that, I'm just going to take you back real quick into the browser. Now, I didn't complete the entire worksheet. You always want to make sure you fill out your entire worksheet and you don't upload until it's the completed worksheet. To upload, you want to actually click on the assignment itself. And notice the original file is actually here for you to download if you had gone in here to start with. But now you can actually submit your assignment and you want to browse your computer and here I go to my desktop and I save the file that's got my name on it. When I see that that file is there, I can go ahead and submit. And once it does that, now the filled out file 
is in Blackboard ready for me to be able to grade and give you feedback on your grading. So again, just real quick, make sure that when you're working with the worksheets, you download the worksheet from Blackboard, open it in Adobe Acrobat Reader, then fill it in, save it, and upload it. That way you'll be able to not waste any time thinking you've completed the lab and what you've really sent back to me is an empty file that doesn't have anything filled in. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please feel free to con uh, contact your instructor.